If you've perused the MySQL documentation during the course of watching this introduction to MySQL functions, then you probably realized that some potentially useful functions are noticeably missing. Of course, MySQL developers realize that they can't account for every possible need, and so they've provided you with the ability to create your own custom functions. Now, the MySQL developers refer to custom functions as stored routines because there are actually two types of custom functions you can create. And so they use the term stored routine to collectively refer to both. When using this term stored routines, the MySQL developers are referring to both stored procedures and stored functions the latter of which I find far more useful because once defined you can invoke it in exactly the same way as any of my SQL's native functions. So I'm going to focus on stored functions and invite you to check out the MySQL documentation if you'd like to learn more about stored procedures.